take a look at how can we use a production planning tool on ERP Next in order to plan for our uh, production. So the way we do it is go to the manufacturing module, create a production plan. So over here you can fetch items either from sales order or material request. We will fetch items from sales orders. In order to uh, demonstrate, I'll just select weather sensors. I'll filter it out by weather sensors. There are other filters that you can use in order to filter out the items that you want to plan for. I will fetch item, fetch the sales orders. From the sales orders, we will fetch the items for work order. So these are the items that we need to plan for. And the last step is we will fetch the raw materials required in order to manufacture these finished goods. So I've selected this flag where it will ignore the existing projected quantity of raw materials and show me all the raw materials that are required for manufacturing these finished goods. So one last setting that I need to do in this production plan is enable this flag. So what this flag does is create it creates work orders for the sub assemblies. Once we've done all that, we will go ahead and save and submit this production plan. The next step is to create work orders. So over here, you see there are three work orders that are created for manufacturing uh, finished goods which is the weather sensor. So the reason it has created three set of work orders is because we have a nested bomb for the weather sensors. First thing or the first sub assembly that needs to be manufactured is the PCB. Then we need to program this uh, PCB and then the last step is where we assemble this programmed PCB along with an enclosure and uh, manufacture our finished good which is the weather sensor. This is the first work order that we will be taking up. Uh, so for PCB work order there are a few parameters that we need to set on the work order. The first parameter is the work in progress warehouse. So PCB assembly will take place in a warehouse called PCB assembly source warehouse for raw material is stored warehouse and the target warehouse for the PCB will be the PPCB station since that is the next sub assembly that we will be manufacturing once PCB is manufactured so after verifying all this information and inputs we will save it and submit the work order once we submit the work order, uh, one job card will be created because there is only one operation defined on this particular work order. The next step is to get the raw materials from stores to the work in progress warehouse which is the PCB assembly warehouse. So once we click on the start button, it will ask me, I want to ask me how many finished goods uh, I want to I will say 3, create, so this is the first stock entry uh, that will be created and on this stock entry we will make sure that uh, all the information is in place and this green dot denotes that these raw materials or items are available at the source warehouse. So after verifying all that we will save this so this is asking me for a quality inspection on the raw materials. So just for demonstration purposes, I will remove this flag. Assuming that these raw materials have already been inspected while they were received from the supplier. So I'm not going to add a quality inspection again while I am transferring the raw material to the work in progress warehouse. Save this stock entry, submit this stock entry. And I will navigate back to the work order. Now the status is changed to in process. Once that is done, I will go to the job card 
and start the job of assembling the PCB. So once I click on the start button, the timer starts and it will start recording the actual time that is taken to uh, perform this operation. So once the operation is completed, we need to enter how many quantities were completed and say three quantities and I will record completion of the job by clicking on this button. Once I click on that button, the time taken for the whole operation is updated here. And navigate back to the work order. So over here, if we can notice uh, the planned operating cost was 30 rupees, but since it took a little longer uh, in actual, the actual operating cost is 31.33 rupees. After verifying everything, I'll just go ahead and finish work order. So now this will create a stock entry for the back flush which means that the raw materials will be subtracted from this particular warehouse and the finished product will be added to the target warehouse which is the PPCB station. I will go ahead and save. It will throw me a validation message that I need a quality inspection for PPCB. a quality inspection report let's say the sample size is 3 and we have accepted accepted the quality and go ahead and submit the quality inspection report so that attaches the quality inspection report to this particular stock entry we can now go ahead and submit the stock entry getting back to the work order, you can see that the status is completed, three items have been produced, three PCB assemblies have been produced and transferred to the next assembly station or the next operation which is programming the PCB. It can now navigate back to the production plan, go to the next work order. So in this work order, there are a few things that we need to keep in mind. The first thing is we need to unselect this particular flag which says use multi-level bomb. Uh, the reason being uh, that we've already manufactured PCB using the raw materials required in the last work order. So we don't need to plan for the raw materials in this particular work order. So if I were to select this particular flag, it will plan for the raw materials instead of the sub-assembly which we don't want because we've already manufactured the sub-assembly and the next step is we need to select this particular flag which says skip material transfer to the work in progress warehouse now the reason for selecting this particular flag is that when we completed the first work order of the PCB we've already transferred the sub-assembly which is PCB to the work in progress warehouse which is PPCB station. So we can skip this particular stock entry and if we select this backflush raw material from work in progress warehouse it will backflush the sub-assembly uh, into the next sub-assembly. So it will backflush PCB which, will, which means subtract PCB and add PPCB. So these are the two flags that we need to take care of while planning work order of the intermediate sub-assemblies which is the PPCB in this case. And in the source warehouse we will define the warehouse as PPCB because it's already lying at the PPCB station from the previous work order. So once we take care of these settings I will go ahead and save and submit this work order this will create a job card and then I will continue with my work order process that I 
performed for the previous work order. So now that we have completed manufacturing the sub-assemblies required to manufacture our finished product which is the weather sensor, uh, we can take up uh, the production or work order of our finished product which is the weather sensor. So there are a few things that we need to take care of uh, while working on the work order for our finished product. So the first thing uh, that we need to do is unselect this particular flag because we already we've already produced the PPCB and we don't want to plan for the raw materials. And then in this particular work order, we will not skip material transfer. The reason being we still need to uh, get the enclosure which is lying in the stores and is not present at the uh, final or the work in progress uh, warehouse of mechanical fitment station. So we need to define the source warehouse for PPCB as mechanical fitment because of because it's already lying there from the previous work order and enclosure uh, we need to fetch it from stores so we will define the source warehouse as stores and we will go ahead and save verify all the details and save. now there is one job card created or mechanical fitment. Now the next step is to get the raw materials. I will create a stock entry by clicking on the start button. This creates a stock entry. So this says that we are getting PPCB from mechanical fitment to mechanical fitment, enclosure from stores to mechanical fitment station. The raw material is available. Now we can go ahead and uh, remove this flag because we don't want inspection on the incoming stock entry. So we'll go ahead and save it, submit it. Navigate back to the work order. Go to the job card and continue with the process that we we've done previously. Basically go to the job card, log the time taken for completing the operation and complete the cycle. Once we've completed manufacturing all the sub-assemblies and the finished products, uh, the system will create a stock entry for the finished products. We can check that in the stock ledger. So in the stock ledger if you see item weather sensor is added at an incoming rate of 82.77 rupees. So the planned costing of this weather sensor uh, was about 80 rupees of which 70 rupees was for the raw material and 10 rupees for the operating cost. So there is a difference because the time taken uh, while actually performing these operations was a little more than that was planned and that is why the costing of operating cost has increased uh, and that is the reason why the incoming rate incoming rate is a little higher than the planned costing. 